everybody. Welcome to Two Tall Stitchers Floss Tube episode 52. I'm Jennifer and this is my mom Carol. Hi. And we're back with you quicker than we would normally be because uh, we have a lot to share today <laughs> and I'll be traveling next week so this keeps us kind of on schedule. And the week after too, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then the week after yeah. that is retreat. So. Yeah, so we have yeah. three busy weekends coming up so we decided to squeeze in an episode after two weeks. Um, we've had a great two weeks, uh, went to market last weekend, just south of Nashville, Tennessee, as buyers for Persnickety Stitchers. We will talk more about that later. And we've done a fair amount of stitching for two weeks. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That we'll have to share. So, um, yeah. Anything else you want to say? No, it's been a busy two weeks, so yes. I don't know how people can film every week and show <laughs> I stuff. Know. I mean, in two weeks, I'm, last night I was at, you know, thinking, oh, the clock is changing. I'm flipping ahead as I was madly stitching yeah. till it was only one o'clock. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I looked at the clock and it was two o'clock. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, we want to say thank you to all of our returning viewers and welcome to our new viewers and subscribers. Just a couple of our new subscribers that we want to Give a welcome to Gail, Tammy, Liza, Debbie, and Potty Mouth Stitcher. Love that name. Um, and then you fit in well with us. Yes, yes. Uh, and then also want to thank a couple of other floss tubers who've mentioned us recently. Helen D talked about us in her floss tube recap. And if you were watching last time, I told her she could punch me. She did not punch me. So thank you, <laughs> Helen. Um, instead, I got a great big hug when I saw her. So yeah, that was great. That was nice. Um, Jackie from Jack's Creative Inspirations mentioned us. I'm, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm guessing it's related to the FFO challenge. And then Michelle from Penny's Daughter Shares is back. She's yeah. taken a few months off of Floss Tube to focus on family and um, she filmed an episode this week, so I was watching it this morning. I haven't watched that one yet. She has, if you like whip braids, I'm going to say go watch her episode because she has been doing the Celebrate 50 start along. And oh, since yeah. she hasn't filmed in a couple of months, she has a lot of starts to show. So it's kind of like whip parade. I bet. Yeah. And then a special hello to everybody else that we saw at market. And we saw tons of people. If we named you all, we'd definitely leave somebody out. Yeah. So hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, today it is your quilt of the day, right. freshly back from the quilter. <laughs> yes. And one time ages ago, somebody said, do I see binding clips? Is that not bound yet? And I said, oh no, we use binding clips to attach it to our yeah. frame. But this time... <laughs> <laughs> I was madly binding and then I thought, now wait, don't be silly. You know, I needed to stitch so I had something else to show because this is basically finished. This is a split four patch. It was quilted by my friend Pam. It's a really pretty pattern. It shows up more on the back than the front, but it's very, very pretty. And I had fun making it. It's all batiks. And I think it was a layer cake. I can show yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. you can see that, but um, it was a layer cake, which is, you know, uh, 10 inch squares, I believe. And I put it all together and then um, I uh, she quilted it for me. And I'm sending that to a longtime friend. I've done that the past few years I've sent quilts unannounced to longtime friends and yeah. surprised them. And one friend I sent a quilt to, it turned out it arrived the day after her 70th birthday, Mrs. Hibbets. Oh, oh, and yeah. that was so exciting. She said, I know you didn't know, but she said yesterday was my birthday. What a special, what a special day. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to a good friend that I went to school with. I so, love the colors. Yeah, yeah, the colors are great. Yeah. It's nice and bright. It's, it's a, it's more a throw for the couch. It's not a bed size quilt or anything, but, um, and a split four patch is a pretty easy pattern to make. Yeah. Um, but there is a fair amount of you, you sew, then you cut, and then you sew back together. So it's not the quickest pattern, but I think it makes a really nice design. Yeah. It's not, it wasn't too hard. Yeah. You know, if I did it, it wasn't hard. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. All right. Life updates. Uh, we already mentioned Margaret, yep. yep. my brother, her son. <laughs> came to stay with my dad while we were gone so got a quick chance to see him he helped celebrate my son's birthday which was the day we left for market so we celebrated the night before he requested brownies instead of cake so we had some great brownies and opened a few presents yep. and then he said i have homework to do so he <laughs> went back to his room and we sat and chatted for a while 
yeah, it was a good visit. You know, um, Eric got to spend time with his father because we don't see him very often. He's on the East Coast and he travels extensively. Plus, he's got three kids and he's very active in scouts. And so um, he's on the go all the time. Yeah. So it was a nice visit and um, took me a little while to clean up my kitchen, but that's OK. It was fine. But he cooked. You came One home night. to One a night. dinner. Yes, he did. When yeah. we got home Sunday night, he had dinner ready, yeah. which was kind of nice. That was good. And Because uh, there yeah. are not many nights when you come home to dinner already cooked. Never <laughs> is another word for yeah. it. <laughs> when I had my hysterectomy many, many years ago, <laughs> I called. Eric was in college, I think. No, uh, I was in college. He was okay. out. All right. Well, I called him wherever he was. And I said, I just wanted to let you know I'm in the hospital and I'm going to have a hysterectomy tomorrow. And he said, well, you know, you're going to die. And I said, Eric, I think I have a good doctor. He said, oh, I'm not worried about the doctor. He said, dad's going to cook. So <laughs> yeah. my husband's reputation precedes him. Yes. <laughs> we don't let him cook very often. And when we were little, you went home for, I think, a family funeral. My step-grandmother's funeral. And <laughs> she called to see how things were going. Well, there's multiple parts of this story. But I believe my brother said, you have to come home. He tried to boil the no, hamburgers. No, steam. He said steam he'd, the hamburgers. He'd, he'd, he'd steam the hamburgers yes. if we let him. Yes. So he was on a steaming kick then. Everything had to be steamed. And yes. The kids were frantic. <laughs> and that's really when and Eric, Eric decided cooking. he was going to learn how to cook. So, yeah. <laughs> and they were fairly young then, too. I think you were in elementary school or middle oh, school. Oh, yeah. We you were, were young, young when Grandma died. Grandma yeah. May. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, that was really funny. Because we had funny. puppies. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was the other thing. We had puppies. Mm -hmm. And when I was calling to check on them, I left him. Hey, our, our dachshund had four puppies. And he said to me, do you know what they call a woman who leaves her husband home with two kids, a dog and four puppies? I said, what? He said, divorced. <laughs> we didn't follow through on it. But, you know, sometimes I think. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah, that was that was a challenging time for yes. everybody. <laughs> But the puppies were so cute. They were. It was so they cute. Were. Remember, they all had hernia surgery? I don't yes, remember Yes, and he, he wrapped different colored tapes around the foot or their neck or somewhere so that we could tell which, do which dog was which. Uh, yeah, all I the girls did. The boy didn't. Yeah. Got, you know, and then he was so funny because, boy, when they came home, he wanted to play and they were like, hmm. And he's like, come on, come on, come on. And he was pushing them around. and Oh, yeah, that was funny. Good times. Fun. The old days. Yes. The old days. Yes. <laughs> well, let's jump right into questions. We asked on our last our last episode, if you are a market shopper, do you pre-order, do you wait, or do you not follow it at all? And not surprisingly, the floss tube community buys a lot of patterns. So <laughs> our winner. And stuff too. Yes. Our and winner stuff. was pre-orders. 34 of you said, yes, you pre-order. Some pre-ordered, especially this time, hadn't done it before. Some pre-ordered from multiple shops, and some are devoted to one place and pre-order from there every year. 12 of you said you keep a wish list as you see things come out, and then you pick it up when you go to a shop or when you're shopping, you add those items to your list. So you don't have to have them quite as quickly as the pre-order crowd. 15 said, Maybe they'll buy stuff later. Maybe they'll buy it when they're in the shop, but it's not, they don't follow to a T kind of, this yeah. is what's coming out and this is what I want. 10 of you don't really follow it or shop at all. And one said, I don't really need to follow it because I just watch all the floss tubers and they tell me what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cute. And then 10 of you are not buying patterns right now. And good luck with that. So you said, you're doing no buy, which means you're not buying any of them. Some people said they're saving for later. And other ones said they're going to try and continue to stitch their stash. I think Missy's on a no buy. Yeah. We're back. We had a quick bark break. We're not sure why the dog was barking, but I went downstairs and she stopped. So maybe if she starts again. Who knows? <laughs> the common threads from this question were... A lot of people said they have too much already and they don't need to buy more. Although that didn't change how they answered <laughs> for a lot of people. <laughs> I have too much. However, I saw four patterns I had to pre-order. Um, many, many people commented on Lindy Stitches market videos. I have not heard of them. I've heard of Lindy Stitches. Yeah. I 
maybe have watched her videos once or twice, but I, think I she didn't did know pre she did a series on Market. She did, yeah, yeah, because that's what Kathleen was watching, I think. Ah, uh, okay. But everybody said it was very entertaining. So <laughs> even though it's after Market, might be good to go back and watch those. Yeah. And then the we we did ask if there's something specific that you're excited about. Let us know what it is. And I would say the top three that came out were the Primrose Cottage releases. Not surprising for people who watch our channel that they like Primrose <laughs> just like we do. Uh, the Tiny Town, from Heart and the Hand. new Tiny Towns from Heart and Hand. You might see those later in somebody's haul. <laughs> And Blue Flower Pollinator, a lot of people commented on that one. That's oh, okay. a pattern we bought for the shop, but we got to Blue Flower too late and it was sold out. So she'll ship it to us. Oh. That was, I think, her most popular one yeah. from Market. It was really pretty. So that was very fun to hear how you are in terms of shopping. And we will not ask a shopping related question again real soon because remember we asked how much you spend <laughs> and now we ask if you're a market shopper so we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll give you a break <laughs> into other questions so you don't have to tell us about your shopping yeah, habits we'll give but, you a break yeah we'll never ask you for exact dollars it'll just be dollar signs or happy or sad faces right someone <laughs> recommended to us that we ask how much people spent in the last year well number one i don't keep track of no. exact dollars and i think not everybody would want to share that. <laughs> <laughs> we all have different income levels and what's big to someone may be small to someone yep. else. And we don't want and different anyone... priorities. Yeah. You know, yeah, absolutely. some people may actually put food on the table for their family rather than buying cross stitch. Mm -hmm. Others yeah. might just buy cross stitch instead and say eat hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had a couple of other questions. There was some interest from Jane and Wendy in the canoeing Santa that I showed in our last episode. And that actually came out of her bins. Yeah, a while back. Ooh. I saw it and I said, oh, I want to stitch this because it's a canoe. And I yeah. was a canoe instructor in, in college and at Girl Scout camp. Yeah. I had it for a long time before I stitched it. I did a little bit of Googling today. It was a mini card. So they're like, I don't know, two inches by three inches, little Prairie Schooler patterns. It looks like they released those in packs to shops at different times, but I looked at the packs and it wasn't in any of them. I looked at the whole Prairie Schooler inventory. It wasn't in any of them. The only thing I could find is that it was a promo card for book 47, which is called Santa Rides. That pattern is not on the front of the book. So I don't know if it's in it, but just not on the front. If it's oh. on the back, I couldn't find any pictures of the back of the book, just the front. So if anybody has book 47, let us know. Take a look, um, but- You don't have that with you, right? I, no, no, I didn't bring it, but I could put a picture up yeah. if you just make me yeah. a note to add the picture. Um, so sorry about that. I'm afraid it may be something that's hard to find. I did find one shop had a listing for it, but said it was sold out. So um, maybe the Santa Rise would be a good book. Although it doesn't have a canoe, it does have Santa on a boat on a train, in a hot air balloon, and well, a couple he, of other things. That might be the one then, if he's got all that It is the book, type but stuff. Yeah. the canoe is not on the front of the book. Uh -huh. And the things I found said it was a promotional card ahead of oh, the book. So, oh. sorry about that. Mm -mm -mm. There was a question about my red, white, mm -hmm. and blue from Shepherd's Bush, which is what I finished last time. And um, I'll just show you again. Yeah, I'll hold it Okay, up. Jen will hold it up. Um, and I, it calls for three strands of thread. It's a, on a 10 count Tula fabric, T-U-L-A is the name. And it definitely needs three strands because it's a, it's, they're pretty big holes and it fills it up nicely. So that was for, oh, uh, Z, Z. No, oh, Diane. Diane. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and answer that yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. And then ZU5, that's all we could find. It was one of those that didn't have a name. It yeah. just had the identifier. Yeah. Um, the, the pattern that um, our viewer, Jennifer's going to check her name. Alice. Alice. I was going to say Alice, and I was afraid I was wrong. Alice sent. It's called the um, Well-Dressed Man Number 154 from Cross-Eyed Cricket. 
She said she looked it up and it's available through Hoffman, but obviously Hoffman is a wholesaler, so you'd have to order it through a store. Yes. If it's something you want, you can drop me a note or call the store on Fridays when I'm there. And, um, you know, we'll be glad to order it for you. Yeah. Not a problem. And for anybody who may not know, the oh, store is? Persnickety Stitchers in Zionsville, Indiana. And the phone number is linked below. Yes. Okay. And then Dottie asked... <laughs> And we talked about this in the car on the way to or from yes. Nashville. How do I get so much done? And I told mom, that question always stumps me. And I hear it a lot in my life. And I always have. And I don't know what I do that's different than other people. I stitch almost every night unless I have something outside of the house. I, but your kids are older. My kids and are older. Self -sufficient. But One when they gone. were young, yeah. I did a ton as well. I think some of it is, I my husband does most of the cooking, <laughs> and the grocery shopping. And the grocery shopping, although that's newer. I used to do the grocery shopping. Yeah. Uh, I have someone clean my house. I decided to outsource that many years ago. I got a promotion, and I was like, "This is where I want that money to go." Because. I would never clean the entire house in one day. And there's something so nice about coming home to a clean house. Um, and her husband wasn't great at that. And he's a great guy. But neither of us was great no, at it. No. 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 <laughs> um, so I think I've made some intentional choices about how I spend my time. I'm not a big phone scroller. I certainly spend enough time on my phone, but... I was talking to somebody the other night and they said when they watch Netflix, they just sit and scroll and scroll. And I thought, oh my gosh, I can't imagine doing that. I sit and stitch and stitch. And you'll see there's yeah. one project I got a lot done on yesterday. We watched TV last night and I stitched away. So um, I, I'm not sure how to answer that question, Dottie. I prioritize time for myself. I am raising my kids to be very independent children, which means they do their own laundry. They know how to make meals for themselves since they were late elementary school. Um, Jenna was a pro at stealing Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> when she was a baby. Uh, when she was a toddler, she yeah. used to steal Oreos. But yeah, I think it's just all, it's a priority for me because it's something that I really enjoy. So that's the only way I yeah. know how to answer You, you know, other, other women run. Or they, you know, they do other activities. They mm -hmm. play tennis and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't really so exercise. This, the stitching is is your your My hobby. preferred hobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I would say all the crafting. Yeah. And right now mm -hmm. I'm heavy on stitching, but certainly if you went back ten years, I would have been very heavy on quilting okay. and just a little bit of stitching. Yeah. So it comes and goes. Yeah. 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 Alrighty, previous finishes. I thought it was fun when I brought my table runner last time, so I brought my t my spring table runner. This is called Double Wide Dresden. You want to hold that side of it? Oh, yeah, sure. And it is a three block table runner that I made. Oh, it says on the back right there uh, in 2018. 2018. And this fabric was left over from a quilt kit, a baby quilt kit. And then the other fabrics were in my stash. And I just thought it would be a fun, super bright Pretty quilt to, or table runner to go on our mm -hmm. coffee table in the spring. So I pulled it out and thought, oh, I'll take that to show. And I custom quilted it. We'll see if there's some kind of cross hatching. I did some weird stars in the middle. This one, I echoed the star. I realized I didn't wash this before I put it away last year, so just ignore the like <laughs> drink stains. Yeah, so that is Double Wide Dresden, and that is from the book Double Wide Dresden by me and my sister designs. I have always loved their fabric, and I've made several things from their fabric. And when this book came out, I thought it was so cool, and it was just very different styles. and. I think this came with the book. You need the dark side or something to show that. Oh no. Um, this is the double wide Dresden ruler. I'm pretty sure it came with the book. Nope, on the back it says ruler is sold separately. So I must have bought it with the book. But it was a lot of fun and it was hysterical when I made this because you wind up with all these little Dresden pieces just in a huge string. And even for this little quilt, I think there's what? <laughs> three, six, 10 or 11 in each piece. Yeah. And so there were 30 some 10, odd yeah. in a string uh, as I made it. So 
it's fun. I haven't made another quilt from this book since then, but I may might get back to it someday. There's a neat one. The two that I still like from this book are Spiderweb. That one's kind of cool. That could also be a table runner. You could do, Just you know, two, two oranges and a, a gray oh, yeah. or two grays and an orange. And the other one I like, but I really don't need any more Christmas quilts. That doesn't mean I'm not going to make them, but I think that one is super cute. You could make that into a cute wall hanging too. I have a top like that. Yeah. That I made years ago. You did. And it's, it hasn't been quilted. It's so, around somewhere. Yeah. That's, and then I also like, they just tell you how to use your ruler to make a tumbler quilt. And that's just so pretty, that rainbow color tumbler. I saw one, we were at back door the other day, Pam and I, and mm -hmm. they had a tumbler quilt and it was big, like yours. It was big pieces. Big, yeah. It was so pretty. So. It was a good baby quilt. We'll see. Maybe I'll pull that out again sometime. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to go into I have quilts? Well, I have table runners downstairs, but I was told not to bring them up. So. <laughs> You won't get to see mine. <laughs> Maybe next time she'll think ahead and bring them up before we step down to film. Well, somebody didn't mention that we were going to do. Oh, uh, yes, we do. Remember last now. time when somebody asked how well we get along? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any whips? Yes, I have whips. I have whips. Okay. I'm working on the Lizzie Kate Series Sal, and I have thread all over the place. And I'm on the third segment, which is wear a costume. And this is where I am. I haven't done a ton on it. Again, two weeks was really fast considering we lost th Friday, Saturday, and Sunday last week. And, um, and then I worked all day Tuesday and I worked all day Friday. And we and put in a couple yesterday. hours yesterday. So I haven't had a ton of time. Plus in there, there was a doctor's visit that was kind of traumatic, which is fine. Not We're for okay. you. Not for me. <laughs> But uh, as usual, and um, so yeah. So anyway, we, I, I didn't get a ton done, but I've, I, like I said, I stitched yeah. late into the night, so I would have something to show you. And then I also worked on the Lizzie Kate series Sal, which we are hosting with Allison at Mrs. Arizona Family Zoo. And I, Allison and I are both stitching the Greenies series. And her mom too, right? And her mom as yeah. well. And I think I had started this last time. I literally worked on it one day at lunch. So it didn't get a lot of time, but I continued to fill the border for ride a bike and start the little girl's hair. So the plan is to get back to this one in the next couple of weeks. But, you know, who knows? We'll see if that plan happens or <laughs> not. Take it on the plane. I can't see it. Oh, well I can't enough. see. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Getting old is hard, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Okay, so okay, the other one I had started the last time, and she said you can see this without taking it out of the wrapper. It's the Needlework ABCs by Little House <sighs> Little House Needleworks, yes. yes. Yes, so that's it. And this I did work on last night. I did move the Q-snaps, and so I'm coming right along. And this is fun. You know, I love doing letters and words and everything. So that was that was fun. So I'm, I am making progress on that. It's coming along. And my next one, you also saw last time, this is Harry Styles by Space Cat Cross Stitch Patterns. I worked on this for three nights. My goal was to get to where the pants split because they're super <laughs> long pants. I am stitching this on 28 count Lugana in Vintage Poinsettia from Forbidden Fiber Co and with the DMC threads. So last time you saw it, I think he just had a, a head and maybe a little bit of a shirt. His shirt is now mostly finished. I was gonna start doing the arms and the black outline on the shirt. And then I decided if I didn't get started on those pants, it would be the death of me. <laughs> so I worked, I think two nights and all I did was white pants and I got if you see at the very last row, there's one stitch in the middle. I got to where the pants split. Wow. And I have a lot of white to go. Yeah, so. for sure. Holy crap. Yes, but it's fun. I'm enjoying stitching on this one. And it actually wound up being my Wednesday night stitch for February because my daughter said I was allowed to switch my Wednesday night stitch because I was mad at my other one. <laughs> And since this is for her, she agreed that that was okay to do. 
Okay, last time I showed you, I was working on the Mill Hill kit, the, the, the little Christmas charm, the charmed Christmas stocking ornaments. And I got all the, um, all the stitching done and I started beading the other night. I was next door babysitting for the, the little kids next door, the four month old and the 17 month old, 18 month old. She's not two yet. Uh, they got a little carried away. But <laughs> so I, once I got the baby to calm down and go to sleep, she was fine. She stayed asleep. So I was able to start beating. And let me just point out. So you've out, done all the stitching. I've done already. all the stitching. Yes, okay. all the stitching is finished. Yeah. And so um, when I bead, I'm just going to show it to show how much oh, yeah. of it is beading. A lot of it's it, a lot. Yeah, yeah, that whole center section. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Wow. So. And this is an older one. Probably. Yeah. It's. Um, I just took. Two thousand seven. Yeah. Yeah. I have a collection. Yes. The other well, thing. I'm glad you're finally getting to. Yeah. Them. I wanted to tell you is when I bead, I use something called a tacky bill and it looks like this. It looks like a CD case. And when you open it up, look at all my beads. See, can you see them? They're all there. They're not going anyplace. It's sticky on both sides and it closes up. And so I dumped my beads into there and I was able to bead. It's they're easy to pick up with a needle once you, you know, get going and everything. And then when I was finished, I didn't have to sit there at their house and try and pick up all my beads and put them away. I just closed it up and brought it home. So it's called the Tacky Bill, and um, they are available through your local needle workshop. Mm -hmm. And um, I love it. <laughs> I've had, yeah. I, they, they used to be a smaller one, and I had that, and then they stopped making them, and then somebody came out with, it was called Tacky Bob. And so now this, we call him Tacky Bill, Bob's cousin. And he's a little bigger. And um, we, he's very useful if you do any kind of beading, whether it's with cross stitch or any beading stuff or anything. It's yeah. great. It's really, really good. It's especially good if you're going to do anything on an airplane because it all sticks yeah. well. Yeah. My next whip is the one that I took with me to market. This is Holiday Wishes, a kit from Jan Lynn, and I am working on the Santa down here. He is the fourth and last of the wishes to be done. And I stitched mostly white, which is kind of hard to see, but I also stitched, I finished up the holly leaves here and I put the red in and then I came down here and worked on a bunch of the white over here. There is a lot of white still left. I have oh, yeah. the rest of the brim of his hat, his mustache, and then his beard. So I'm trying to make myself, what do they call that? Like eating your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> do two or three strands of white and then I allow myself to do something with color because if I do all the color first you'll never uh, get the white the done. white will just yeah just like Harry's pants it's yeah. gonna drive me crazy yeah. why am I doing two patterns with so much of one color I don't know but well that uh, you've been working on for a long time because you've got yes, the other three finished I think he's the last one he's my oldest whip at this point yeah I'm pretty sure and I took all my stitching to Nashville with me, but she gets up earlier than I do. So she would get up. One morning she couldn't sleep, and so she got up and stitched for a while. Yeah. I slept. <laughs> so I never yeah. did even open my bag when I was there. I plan. I had good plans, but so much for that. Do you have others or no? No, that's it. I okay. really am not working on much else right now. So I told you my Wednesday stitch became hairy in March, but I, or February, but I decided in March, I wanna get back to My Forest by T.A. Smith Designs, and I would really like to get this finished. It is one color stitching, so if you're stitching in the right spot and you don't have to pull out, it goes pretty fast. <laughs> I put this aside after January because I had a mistake, and I knew it was gonna take a while to fix. Here, let me. I pulled it out last Wednesday, grumbled a little bit in text to one of my friends, and then put on my big girl panties and got to it again. And I had to take out that mountain, uh, the one with the birds. This one? The, yeah, that no. one. So I took it out and I started stitching the tree and it was still in the wrong spot. So I took a deep breath. I had a couple pieces of chocolate and then I took it out again and I counted like six times <laughs> and then it went back in and then that tree went fast and then I did two of the motifs underneath it maybe three of the motifs so once I got it back in it's moving fast there are a few things that are in the wrong place by one it's not worth it uh, stitch gonna I'm not going to worry about it no nope. but I'm making good progress and I am hopeful 
if I can keep focused on this on Wednesday nights, I will be close to a finish by the end of March and then able to finish this in April. Oh yeah, you don't have you too much left. You hold it up and show yeah. what's left. You don't have too much left. Yeah. Pretty much just um, this part over here. Yeah. Yeah, just that. Yeah. And that's that's still a lot of stitching, but it's not horrendous. It's not horrendous, and, the and best it's part all is, one color. And, and also, you can do a tree, and it's done. You don't yes. have to go back and fill in or anything yeah. else or backstitch. It's just do the tree, and you're finished. And this is on 36-count antique white or white Edinburgh linen, and I'm using Water Lilies by Karen in the colorway Emerald. So it is a silk thread. It's fine. It, I don't, I don't think it's amazing. I think it's fine. We both saw a little bit with silk, so, but that's not our first choice. Yeah, at all. I like cottons better. Yeah. Maybe that I, I don't know, haven't sewn with the right silk or something. Yeah. But yeah, but that's moving along again. And I'm actually, once I got it fixed and then did that next tree, I was looking forward to stitching more of it. Yeah. And then my last whip is one that I pulled out yesterday and decided I needed to get back to. And it is Bent Creek's Bluebird Sampler. This was my birthday start last year at our retreat. And I got a handful of stitches in and then I didn't like my colors on the fabric I chose. So I've changed colors and now I am happy with it. So I adjusted specific colors and I also have limited the color palette. I think there are like three greens in it and I'm only doing one, um, but I have to decide what to do with the house. So I'll show it to you first and then we'll talk about it. So this is Bluebird Sampler and boy, they're dark, rich colors and they just don't show up on film very it's well. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. It, it, to me, as I look at this, you can see the blue and the brown, but everything else just kind of fades together. But I think it really does look nice in person. I don't know if that maybe shows it a little bit better with a little more light. Yeah. This is on a Lugana. It's a 32 count Lugana called Amber Waves. I'm not sure who the dyer is because it's not on the tag. I got this from a shop that near us that's no longer open. Um, everything down to here is done so like the whole top half of the design is done oh, okay. the bottom half is is more dense because of the house so i need to decide what i'm going to do for the shutters and the door i'm thinking about maybe doing it in the same blue as the bird or the red of his belly instead of it calls for caper which is a i think a dark dark green like almost a Oh. gray green yeah if you think about you know what color capers are mm -hmm. that's what it is so i haven't pulled that color yet to look at it but i suspect i'm gonna brighten it up a little bit and keep the house a little bit brighter oh for so, the shutters for the shutters and, and the filling door. in the the accents on the door yeah oh yeah i okay. yeah. can hardly see them yeah it's so dark yeah so that's what I'm going to play with. I'm going to, I, this is what I stitched on last night. So when I pulled this out yesterday, it had about this much done, but none of this. So I put in this whole side of the vine. I put in the G to L, the specialty stitches underneath, which are rice stitches. And then I filled in the house. Wow. I had done a little bit of the house, but not much. So I got some That's good stitching time yeah. in yesterday. And I think this will go pretty fast with a couple more stitching sessions. So I'm hoping next time you see this, it might be a finish. That would be nice. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to FFO it yet. I think it's it lends towards a frame, but I'll see when I get it done. <coughs> That's my whips. Finishes. I have one finish. No, I thought I would get my ornament finished, but didn't make it. Not yet. So mine was a start last time and a finish this time. And this is from Erica Michaels, Summertime Berries. Last time I showed you the Summertime, Summertime Berry. And this time I'm showing the S'more Summer Please. And this is stitched on 32 count Weeks Dye Works linen in the colorway Sky. 
with the called for threads, I only used Fancy Floss for a couple of the colors. The others are DMC. So I think I used Fancy Floss for the red and the green and the blue. Are the shop models? Then these are shop models, yeah. So this is done and now needs to be made into a berry. So I have two of them and I'll do the berries at the same time. This one is 32 count, the other one is 36 count. So I'll be very interested to see the size oh, the difference size, yeah. when, they, when they're finished. Like mine that turned out to be a humongous. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Still haven't recovered from that one. Yeah, yeah. So that's my finish. No FFOs. I was going to work on an FFO yesterday, but the couch was too cozy and I sat and stitched instead. And then we wound up running around and going into yeah, we went into the store and we grabbed lunch and then we went to the store mm -hmm. and we we uh, Vicky and I worked all day Tuesday. We're closed on Monday, so we came home to. Uh, we'll get into market. We can start yeah. talking about that. Yeah. We. You want to? Why don't you start and tell them a little bit about why we went to market and okay. the role we played and what we that went means. to market as buyers for the store. Vicky is a needle pointer, not a cross stitcher. So as a result, um, she gives us great latitude. She gives us a credit card, cash, and checks and says, how about it? We did have a meeting before, two other gals went with us, and uh, we did have a meeting beforehand where we talked about things we bought last year that didn't sell. We talked about things that uh, sold quickly that we would wanna bring them back again. And then there were some new, new to us and new to everybody, designers both. And we talked about them and everything. And then we pretty much, um, you know, did a, we had layouts of the floor, so we made notes about where to go yep. and everything. And and we got it. We got we had our act together much better this year than we mm -hmm. did last year. But it was our first time to go, yeah. and we were much better prepared. And so um, we left here Friday morning, and we got there. No traffic, no bad weather, no yeah. accidents, no trees across the road, no wind. It was much wonderful. Easier drive. We got there at like two thirty, and the shops opened at four last year. It was one forty five because. Oh. I was thinking there's no cranky people at market, but I was cranky when we walked in and the hotel guy said, your room isn't going to be ready for an hour. And I thought it was already three she and the him. shops opened at four. <laughs> I was not very nice. It was not my best moment. That's not acceptable. And then I realized that it was 147 <laughs> in Tennessee. Oops. Sorry. So anyway. <laughs> We she got went there up early. to get the room when, when it was yeah, ready. I, I was I was back. nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I was nicer. But um uh we yes, yeah, so we got there and we worked with Sue and Janie, our partners, and we got everything organized and what we were gonna do and then but it was so nice because last year we got there like a quarter to four. We did and we, we yeah we basically tore up to our room, dumped everything, pulled what we could get, and then Ran. took off. You yeah. know, and so we didn't even have time to kind of catch our breath. We barely had time to go pee and and this was much more relaxing. We had a yeah. few minutes to sit and just talk with them and, and figure out a few things. And, and we that put our out plan well. together for which yeah. shops we needed to get to on Friday night. Right. The, the designers and the fabric dyers bring as much as they can, but there's only so much. And I think there were something like 400 shops registered. There were, there were, we counted up when there were 120. Uh, of the, uh, of the sellers, rooms. but the buyers, buyers. I want to oh, say, yes, I yes. heard somewhere 400, yes. somewhere around 400. So they can't bring enough for everybody. They don't know exactly what's going to be the most popular pattern. So if there are things you absolutely want to make sure are in your shop the week after market, you go on Friday night to those. Yeah. Uh, and no. especially where there are Fabric. kits and the fabric dyers and market releases are the hot where they're yeah, only available at market exclusive market, market yeah. releases yeah. yeah that you can't pre-order mm -hmm. we ran into that and then the fabric the fabric booths you can always tell where the fabric by the store shops are because there's a big long line down yeah. the hallway and everybody everybody else is like excuse me can i get in there oh you're not here for fabric okay yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. um we got did we go well we had a pre-order we had a big pre-order for fabric so i didn't feel we had to panic and get there on friday night but we did go to Forbidden Fiber Co. on Friday night and got some fabric there yes. to supplement. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and then we went first thing Saturday morning, I think, to to um, pick up our pre-order. Get our pre-order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we brought home like what seventeen, 17 and twenty yards, yards of, fabric. of fabric, which is great for our shop. Yes, yeah. it's almost more than we bought the entire year, <laughs> I think. And so we we had tons of fabric. Yeah. So anyway, we we shopped. 
Friday night, we shopped Saturday, we shopped, we finished up pretty much Saturday yeah. night. And then Sunday, we had a few cleanup things to do. We did that. And then we went to visit with JBW and then um, we went to Pedal Pusher and saw Helen and, and we saw Liz quickly in the hall. Oh, we didn't see Helen because she was we, out no, shopping. No, we had seen Helen on yeah, Saturday we, we night. Yeah, Saturday yeah. night. And, you know, we ran into a few more people and said hi and everything. And then we actually headed out about 1.30 or 1 o'clock. Yeah, it was like early. two hours earlier. I than... think I had mentioned that I was going to see a friend from high school that I hadn't seen in many years. But unfortunately, her schedule was really busy this weekend. And, and she wasn't available until later in the afternoon on Sunday. And we were just yeah. ready to get home. So we packed up the car. That was interesting to watch us haul that stuff out. So we made two big trips out to the mm -hmm. car. We looked like camels with stuff over our shoulders and pulling and everything else. And then we drove straight to the store and unloaded it there and um, filled up one big corner. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun. And yeah. then all week you've been working with and then, yeah. the owner to get things labeled, priced, photographed Just, yeah. and ready to be put into inventory yeah. so yeah. i i've probably taken well over 100 pictures this week yeah and put them up on facebook mm -hmm. and so we worked all day uh tuesday we worked she worked wednesday and thursday by herself friday i went in and i worked until 5 30 six. probably six we i worked till six that's six. right because you came in late yeah, in the afternoon I did. and worked for a couple hours and then we went in yesterday and worked for another two or three two hours. hours yeah. And so we're getting close. I yeah. think we're at the end of the last bag, I think. And um, I was frantically taking pictures just before we left. Right. But we have everything up on, that has so far mm -hmm. that has up on, on Facebook. Yeah. So it's it's been a lot of work and it's almost as tiring as shopping. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is it's, and I think Helen talked about this in her video, it's very fun and you see a lot of people and it's hard work and it's tiring. Yep. So by the end of the day, you're just beat. Helen came up late on Saturday night and I think all three of us were about to doze <laughs> off in our chairs. We were chatting and finally she said, oh, I gotta go to bed. Yeah. And um, it was great to catch up. We also had dinner with Jamie and Terry from yep. Cornhusker State Stitchers. They're coming to our retreat in a couple of weeks. Yep. So we Can't had some fun him. planning for that. And we saw tons of people in the hallway. I know I talked to Stitching with Grammy, who said she watches us. And I passed somebody uh, <laughs> who I recognize, but I don't know your name, who just as I walked by, I said, love your floss tube. And I said, thank you. <laughs> and they, like we both kept going. So it's just a neat environment. Yeah. With the exception of me at check-in, pretty much everybody is happy <laughs> all weekend. It's just, it's such a neat energy to see all the new things. And I yeah. think that's the thing that's amazing. I'll, I'll put some pictures up. I didn't take a ton, but seeing the models makes all, all the, difference. the difference. And you all know that if you shop in, in, in brick and mortar shops that seeing the models makes you want to stitch them. It, they look okay on the pattern, or even if they look really good on the pattern, they always look better in yep. person. And yep. so, Having the chance to walk through each room and look at the models is really helpful. We saw lots of new to us designers and bought a few things ourselves. So <laughs> maybe we'll jump now into oh. what we got yeah. for us. What do you want to do first? Do you want to talk about our shop models that we're going to stitch and sure. then go into our personal sure. purchases? Yeah. Okay. So I'll start. This was a new to me designer, Counting Puddles, and I really like her style because it is cross-stitched but also includes some surface embroidery. And so this is called Love Blooms, and this is one of the shop models that I will be stitching for a shop. And I love how it's finished in that hoop with the hoop stand. I think we're gonna have to find one of those. Yeah. Um, but it also could go really nicely on a wall. Yep. It could be finished as a circle and mounted on a board. So many options there, but yeah. I'm really looking forward to stitching this one. And this is from the Little Needle Book series. It's called Little Lamb and it's from Under the Garden Moon. Mm -hmm. And we had the fabric, so I've got the fabric and the floss and I'm ready to start on that. And I'll turn that into a needle book. Yeah. So that'll be fun. It's a neat one. It and Under the cute. Garden Moon is a little bit of cross stitch and a little bit of wool. So if you yeah. have a shop that also has wool, check out what they got from under the garden moon yeah. i think their wool stuff is beautiful our shop just simply isn't big enough to expand beyond yeah, cross can't. stitch and needlepoint um but their wool 
work That's is really beautiful. pretty. Yeah. And then the next one I'm going to stitch is called Winterly Sampler. And this is by Robin Pickens. And Robin was not vending this year, but she was there as a designer to check out, to prep for hopefully getting a room next year. She is a longtime quilt fabric and quilt designer. We did the Wind Drifter quilt along a couple two years ago, years ago yeah. now. That was her pattern. And she has gotten into cross-stitch design. And I love the designs yes. that she's doing. They have a quilt kind of feel, but they're definitely cross-stitched. So this is the shop model that I will be stitching. And she and I connected before market and she brought a bunch of patterns yeah. that we bought in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> we got to meet her. That was and so neat. It was really Hi, nice to meet her. So I'm really looking forward to stitching that one. And this is Cardinal's Promise from Stitchy Pros, which I will be doing. And we bought some really pretty gray fabric. Yes. At, um, at market. It's a Lugana, 28 count gray Lugana. And this one is using cottage garden. cottage garden threads, which we don't carry. It has the DMC conversion, but I'm also going to look at some of the uh, weeks and, and general arts and um, um, classic, classic color, color works and see if I can use those yeah. instead. But so I'm excited to do that because you know what it is. It's words. Yes. <laughs> it's words. Yes. So that's there were cool, several quickly. Cardinal designs yes. at market. Judy Whitman had and one Mom. that sold out. Stitchy Pros had one. And I feel like I saw one yeah, or two more. Yeah, there was another, more. at least one more. Yeah. At least one more. So those are our shop models. Yep. Should we go then, into our personal well, purchases sure. or gifts? What do you want sure. to do? Um, Let's do personal. Okay. Okay. So we'll just start running through these. These are the things we bought for ourselves. They all go through the shop, but she allows us to pick up things that we want. And so the first one, which we both got, is the stitching bag from Shepherd's Bush. This is similar to the Liberty bag that we bought last year, and it's a full kit. It has the bag and the threads and the buttons. I think there's even a needle in it. Yeah, So two that needles. is a quick stitch. And I think somebody might have started her. Somebody story. has a big chunk of it done but somebody doesn't know where she put it because she put it in here so she could show it um oh well i'll look in a little bit yeah okay my purchase was i got a little carried away remember i bought on um stash unload last time remember when i got busted i don't have the pattern right here but remember i bought the the snowman pattern that went in this frame and it called for a 28 count blue dark darker blue fabric and I had has to be 28 count to fit in the frame. So we, I got a little carried away. Everywhere she went, she looked for blue well, I was, 28. Well, I was really worried I wouldn't find it. So yeah. this is called Sapphire by Fiber on a Whim. And I think that may be the one I wind up using. Yeah, and that um, one's an Ada. That's a 14 count Ada. Yeah. But this is interesting because I think, uh, let's hold these up because it okay. shows how the same color Yeah, this dye. is this is a, a 28 count Luke linen from um, from fiber on a whim, and it also is sapphire. But yeah, look at the difference and you can in the see colors. The differences. Actually, it may be this one that I'm and using. And it's just how the fabric takes the dye. Yeah, yeah, same color. Yeah, and then in yarn tree, this was what they call a shortcut. It was thirteen by fifty five, and it's kind of a gray blue. And I got it because I liked it and I thought it might work. But once I saw these two, I knew this was yeah too too gray. And you have so, so many winter pieces, but, yeah. you won't. Struggle I'll, I'll be able to blue. figure yes. out something, surely. My <laughs> next purchase was in the Elegant Thread, and I picked up their Market Exclusive, which is from Saju, which is French. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if the, they designed the pattern as well. Um, and it's this little French tin, and then the pattern to make this is inside of it. And I just love that little Eiffel Tower. So... That was my next purchase. I don't know where I'm gonna put all these. Um, this was kind of cute. Oh no, that's, um, this is from uh, JBW Designs. This is the Christmas Ornaments book. And she's got five of them. And this was, it was so hard to choose. But this was, she had the samples there, the little ones Flip done. It, they're on the back. Yeah, they're on yeah. the back. And it was so cute. And they'll go fast because they're small. They're done on. I'm she the samples she had done yeah. were like three inches tall. I think she did them over one on yeah. twenty eight, which yeah. maybe you won't do. Twenty eight count cashel linen, 
one over one on one over one over one one over one on twenty eight and two over on thirty two. Yeah. So, but that was just. Oh, but you was, don't have to stitch them that tiny. You could stitch no, them two over no. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. My next one was just a pair of scissors. I got the purple uh, rainbow thread cutters. They're cute. I I keep losing scissors in my house, so it's always good to have extras. Uh, I think I picked up. I don't think you did. Did you? I did. Okay, we both got the market cookbook. And that's mm -hmm. really neat because it's done by the designers and some others, and it comes with recipes as well as patterns in it too. Yeah. So you're getting kind of a double dose. That's mm -hmm. kind of neat. You get you get two for one. Yeah, I was gonna try and find one. And all the recipes are from shops or designers, and then the patterns are from mostly vendors that were there, but a couple I saw that are yeah, from that other right there. people. Uh -oh. Next for me is this little card from Franny Ritter Designs. Oh, I just so thought cute. it was so cute. And again, seeing them finished just makes all the yeah. difference in the world. This was the last shop we visited and I had to have it. This is from Hands On Design, Gather Blessings. And as I remember, this is a series. Same. And it will be a <laughs> yeah, series. She a series, said. yeah. This is the so first one. That's the first one. Yeah. You want to do our other samesies? Oh, all right. Hang on. We both got on. Mementos of the Heart, heart. from Heart and Hand. Yeah. This is a reprint of several of her annual heart yeah. pieces. The and then also a couple of other new heart or love yeah. themed pieces. Okay. Then. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Primrose Cottage. I couldn't pass. Mm -hmm. You know, at words, it's me again. And that's 4th of July. I also ordered the uh, Spring Quaker, I think, and that, Me that too. was gone. Yeah, so they're going to ship that to the store. But yeah, so that's finished. And their dad makes the frame. I um, I understand from what I've read. Um, oh, show that. oh yeah, yeah. This Don't was show this. no, I'm not, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. And then this was this is all pieces of the Fourth of July rules made into adorable little pillows. Mm -hmm. Really, really cute. So, and yeah. I think you liked the chart originally, and then when yeah. you saw the pillows, when I saw the pillows, I was like, there was no and question. And they said, oh, no, it's part of it. Yeah. And yeah, here's another picture of them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so couldn't pass it up. I like It's patriotic. It's words. What more can I say? Next, we went to Praiseworthy Stitches. This was one of our Friday night visits because their little kits sell out really quickly. I got the Christmas star last year, and I got it again this year. And it comes with the threads, the finishing pieces, the little um, ornament and everything, the hanger. So hopefully I will stitch that soon and get that finished before this Christmas. I think you got I that I too. Got it. I thought you did too. I did too. I don't know what I did. Oh. Hmm. Okay. okay. Well. All right. From October House, I got Pumpkin Row because I have the Snip Snip and what was the thread one from last year? Mm -hmm. So that yeah, are mine. That, that are I Jennifer's that she's loaned me. That I haven't done yet either. But and so yeah, so I got that. Go Should I do that one too? Yeah. Okay, and then I also got Deck the Halls. Words, Christmas, you know, I couldn't pass it yeah. up. So that's that's October House. I only brought home one piece of fabric for me. This is Stonehenge. It is a 36 count Edinburgh linen from Forbidden Fiber Company, and it has a beautiful. Really it's a pretty gray with browns and green tones in it and I plan to stitch the cottage garden Christmas piece that they released this year on that. Okay and this is Spring Folk by Hands on Design and Chantel 141 was there with the board which I didn't get which I now I'm kicking myself and so um, I will I will get it. I will order it from her. But this was, again, in person, these things are stunning. Yeah. Keep going on your oh, okay. other hands on. Okay. And then this is my other hands on design. Gather wild, <clears throat> gather wild flower, wild flowers spring. And the, the circles, again, are from uh, Chantel 141. Did not pick them up. Too, too dumb. And so, uh, yeah, these are really pretty. Again, they were, they were there and Kathy's done a wonderful job. And this is my last one. I got the American flag pattern from Erin Elizabeth Designs. I thought that was so pretty the way that that's done. So there were a lot more I could have gotten. I kind of had to. She stop was myself. better than I was. Okay, <laughs> this is the new Frosty Tiny Town, and it's done on a pretty gray, which we have a gray in the store, so I'm really excited about that. And then there was the 
any tiny town. And that was one that uh, she designed for keepsakes in Cincinnati and, and made it specific to Cincinnati. She added some information. In. I don't know if that's still there. No, but you, yes, it is. It says, it yeah, says keepsakes. keepsakes. Yeah, it's that's keepsakes. That's the store yeah. with the, the cat 310, the black yeah, cat Yeah, they're cat. Can you see the, the yeah, that one? That. Yeah. That's keepsakes. That's keepsakes. Store. And yeah, their cat's name is 310. There's, there's 310. We've met 310. Yeah. And then more any tiny town. And um, so, yeah. So I might change the name and, and um, yeah. you know, I could call it Persnickety or something like that. And then also Counting mm. Puddles. This was so cute. And there's another one I think is back ordered, the Snowflake one. Did I get that? Is that back ordered or did I control myself? You controlled yourself. Okay, so I got that guy. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all. Oh, no. These are, these are little trays that snap up and they're Oort trays. Yeah. They have snaps, so you just close Those them up. Those were from Praiseworthy yeah. as well. And you see the, it, the fabric is cute. It's a um, spider webs, and the back is plain. And this one is um, honeycombs, and it's got bees on the snaps. Mm -hmm. So that was cute. And then, I'm not sure I got. I thought you did too. I did too, yeah. And then these sticky notes from um, October, House. October House were so cute. So I grabbed those. Um, let's see. She keeps digging. She keeps, she keeps digging. That's, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Okay. As far as the other buy. thing I'll share is that oh, yeah. uh, our shop owner let us keep a couple of the bags yep. that we got at market. So this one was from Heart and Hand. And this one's from the Gentle Art. Yeah. Um, Two great they're bags. Very nice bags. Very nice for a retreat. So and your shop owners may have gotten those. Those were not for sale. Yes, they were. N no. Yeah. These weren't. The hard oh, hands were, were not. The maybe the general general arts were for were, sale. But not intended for shop owners to sell in their shop, but they're kind of a gift to the shop owners when they make a purchase. But for the hard and hand and this oh, yeah. one. And then I also got a primrose bag. Mm -hmm. And in the primrose bag was a pad that says beautiful things come together one stitch at a time and then there was a sticker and then also a pink pen yeah so that was in there and then we picked up from stitchy pros they had great wood stuff but this is a wooden pencil with their name on it i don't know if you can see the name but that's there and then this is the qr for the free pattern that they had and then this was a really cute um live laugh frog uh, mm -hmm. key ring or you know whatever uh, to go on a thing and then there was a neat uh, pen from I can't read it oh because it's upside down um thread milk and we pretty yeah that's a pretty pen and then there was this one from works by ABC and it's really cool because it's a um it's a maze, it's a maze and that's fun and then this was a free pattern from cotton pixels it was a sled yeah so that was cute yeah. And I was sure I had. Hmm. Well, you already took out your Liberty bag. Yeah, which is here. I put it in here so I could show you guys because I worked on it and I almost finished it. No, I think it's in my my bag here. Keep oh. talking and okay. you can talk about something. We also received some lovely gifts from friends that we met at market. So... Terry and Jamie from Cornhusker State Stitchers brought us a little bag of goodies and it included a box of chocolates from Nebraska. This is mom's box. It's still sealed. You see she's behaving. My box we busted into on the way home at the rest stop and uh, sh <laughs> they're big candies and we both put them in our mouths and then we couldn't talk for a little while because <laughs> Terry, Terry had said to just let them melt on your tongue. Um, but we didn't listen. Yeah, and then I put them on the island in my house and told the boys they could have some of them, and they're almost gone. So we are enjoying them in my house. And then they also gave us in our bags some flood thread bling from Sweet. I think it's Sweet Autumn Stitch is the Etsy shop, and mine is a reindeer. And I just love it, and I know exactly which project it will go on. It will be one of my reindeer projects. And mine is a snowman and it's in hiding. 
Yeah. I thought I'd put them all together to show you guys. So I will dig them out before we film again. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Helen brought needle minders. So yep. we did a needle minder exchange and we each got one of Helen's new needle minders. Yes. So that was fun too. And this was one of pattern we got from um, Bent, Bent Creek. Creek. They gave us an extra one for us. Yeah. So, well, fudge. That's really aggravating. <laughs> Really You'll find it for next time. Okay, and then I'm um, still going. Now we'll do regular haul. Yes. Okay. Um, my new um, um, color and cotton. Color and cotton monthly came yesterday, so the timing was perfect. Bumblebee, salamander, and cardinal. So they're really pretty colors. And uh, I actually took them out of the bag before I showed them. And then on Thursday, Pam and I went down to back door because she needed something I can't remember what and I wound up buying this mini charm pillow and it's complete everything except the pillow so that'll be fun to work on it's got some hand quilting on it you haven't seen it no and then oh, that's cute I made that and it's Christmas yeah yeah I made the quilt for the no I don't think so it's it's colored like Christmas but it's not Christmas oh fabrics. okay it's uh, I made the quilt for the baby next door with that panel that I loved and um I thought, oh, I, I don't think I can get another one. Well, this is what they had down there, which I thought was perfect because we have another baby coming along. Not and next door. Either. Not next door. No, no. But so that's, um, it's it's another alphabet one. Do you have one. the name? No, the there, is, um, it's, there it is. There it is. Okay. It is Animal Kingdom by Diane Newkirk for Cloth Works. But That's I just thought, cute. you know, for a baby, I don't want a baby, baby quilt. And this is something that they can lay on now. But then as they get older, they can pick out the animals. They can pick out the letters and everything else. Oh, so I thought that was quilter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that cute? And V is victory. victory. Yes. That's fun. Yes. That happens to be my last name. Yeah. <laughs> and P for parachute. And my husband has 600 jumps. And yeah. L for lifeguard. Eric was a lifeguard at one point. And end um, for napping. We do that well. Yes. Look and at that. Yeah, there's some oh, really cute, cute things on here. Yeah. So, yeah, so I actually picked up two of those. Nice. But I didn't need to buy anything else after going to market. <laughs> 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 didn't need to buy anything else. So, yeah, I think that's... The and end. then you had some oh, and I have mail? A, I had a happy mail. Um, a friend of mine from Houston, um, when, we, when we went on a retreat, God, it's got to be 30 years ago now. They had a lake house north of Houston, and um, she made us all pin cushions, finger pin cushions. And I still have mine. It's over there, and it's so worn, but I use it all the time. And I just dropped her a note one day and said, you know, I, I just, every time I put this on, I think of you, and I can't believe I've made some and given them away. I've made, I have travel one. So she sent me a new one, and she sent me, she said, these are some things I've made for the bee. So I thought I'd send them to you. So that's one. So first I'm gonna tell you, this is the easiest thing in the world to make. It's a square, you fold it in half so it becomes a triangle. You stitch it together and you leave a spot to stuff it and then you sew the ends together. It couldn't be more easy. And it's so great when you're sewing just to yep. pop them right I in. I use it all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. And then this is another one, a little pin cushion. Oh, and nice. I think you could probably tie that around your neck around. if you wanted to. Oh. Oh, and you know that's what I would yourself. do. Yeah, because you've got it's got long strings on it. Yeah, and then or you could put, tie it around your wrist, maybe. Yeah, well, it's kind of long for that. I it think is. it goes around your neck. Yeah, and then Neat, this was this was a um, a felt one that she did, and with oh, a little pretty. and that pretty, and she stuck a little pin in it. Nice. So yeah, so she just said these are what I've done for the bee. She said Aww. so. I sent you some. So that was yeah. really a neat surprise. I haven't seen her in a long time. You had I would a, love to see you. You have a again. good bee here, and you had a good bee I, yes, in Houston. Yes, yes, I had You've a wonderful had lots bee of in Houston. Great friends from yep, bees. Very yeah. good friends. Very good friends. So that that was my happy mail. Okay. Outside of stitching, I haven't done anything the last two weeks. No quilting. No crochet. You said you have some. Well, my quilting is that Pam quilted this, and I trimmed it, and I got the binding made, and. It's about a third on, maybe a quarter to a third. So I will get that done because we have B this week, so I can take it to B and do it there. And then also I didn't, I don't have them because I gave them away, but for um, my friend in Tennessee, 
and her friend, I made them coasters with the initials. And then for Eric, he was drinking tea like crazy and iced coffee. So I, while I was making them one, I made one for him, which he didn't take. So then I made one oh. for his wife and I sent them both off the other day. Okay. So, Good. and I did get the pillowcases mailed off. Excellent. So yeah. I'm, Supposedly making, Very good. Making okay. Uh, plans for the next few weeks. As we mentioned at the top of the episode, I'm going out of town next weekend. I'm going to visit some uh, one friend and meet up with some others who live in the D.C. area to see girlfriends from college. It's going to be a lot of fun. And good. then the weekend after that, my daughter starts her spring break. I'm going to meet her in Chicago and we're going to spend a few days there and hopefully meet up with another stitcher. It was cute the other night I told her, well, there's a cross stitch store in Chicago and she immediately looked it up and said when it opened and she was like, okay, we can go this time or we can go that time. So it was so cute. That if she you mentioned anything to her, she's on her phone. She's like Johnny on the Immediately spot. looking it yeah, up. She, but, yeah. but she didn't balk at it. She was like, yep, we'll just fit it into the schedule. She yeah. has things she wants to do on that trip and she was easy, very accommodating to fit in the one thing I would like to do. <laughs> And Since then, her mother's paying for the trip. Yeah. <laughs> and then the weekend after that is our retreat, yep. which will be followed by the eclipse, which is yeah. big news here in Indianapolis Huge. because we will be in the zone of totality. So my friend Beth will be here for retreat and she's staying over to see the eclipse. And my mm -hmm. nephew, your my grandson, grandson, will be my here. grandson. To visit during that weekend. Yes. And he's also staying over. And then you'll... Well, his, really, yeah. his, the eclipse is at like at three o'clock in the afternoon. His plane is at five. And what I'm thinking is we're going to go down to the cell phone lot at the airport and just park there because that, you know, it's one of those deals when you have all these people, they come piecemeal, but all of a sudden when it's over, everybody wants to go. Yeah. And I can't take the chance of him missing his plane because he's got classes the next day. Yeah. And I can't take the chance of him. So I think we're just going to go to the airport yeah. and sit in the cell phone lot. And then I'll figure out how to get home from there. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Because it's going to be, they're expecting thousands of people. Yeah. I mean, the Speedway, Connor Prairie, which is a um, historical, historical park, the uh, Grand Park up in Westfield, the Lucas uh, um, a Raceway over in, um, in what's over there? Hendricks County. Okay. And um, a Pine lot Paul. of places yeah. are hosting. They're events. hosting. Yes. And the, the stadium in IU down in Bloomington holds, what, 10,000 people? They're sold out mm -hmm. and there are no rooms around there at all. Yeah. So it's going to be just a madhouse, a madhouse. Are there if, plans that you have during this time other than the madhouse? Um, probably going back to the store and taking more pictures. <laughs> yeah. I think we're almost done. I need to finish up getting ready for retreat. Um, I need to um, find a couple things that I thought I bought that I can't find. Yeah. <laughs> and just generally. Yeah. Not nothing, nothing super urgent. heavy. No, yeah. I'm not going to Chicago. I wasn't no. invited. So, but that's okay. They'll have a good mother daughter time together, yes. just yes. like we had mother daughter As time last week. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. but I really would like to go, but that's okay. <laughs> but you can't go anyway. You can't I know. I know. Anything, I know. So. I know. Okay, our question for you this time <laughs> is, what is your favorite motif to stitch? And this question came from Karen B. Thank you, Karen, for the question. Do you like flowers? Do you like alphabets? Words. Do you like animals? Um, Quakers, samplers? Well, those are kind of styles rather than mo individual motifs. Do you like houses? Let us know if you have a favorite motif to stitch. We'll be interested to see. I noticed several years ago that there are a lot of houses in cross stitch. Oh, tons. A lot tons. of houses. And I've tried to figure out why. I don't know. But they're fun to stitch. Yeah. 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 I stitch a fair number of them. Yeah, well, I think we all do. Yeah. We, we know your do. favorite is alphabets words and or words. Yeah. yeah. Mine is probably animals. I'll How think about trees? About, I'll think about it more. <laughs> I don't know. I stitch a lot of trees. Some of them yeah. I like. <laughs> it was the mountain that was giving me trouble, yeah. not the tree. So let us know your favorite motif to stitch. We may not be back for a month, given all the other activities we have going on, but rest assured next time we come back, we will have plenty to share with you. And please engage with us. In the meantime, you can send us email. You can follow us on Instagram and she knows all the details.
Okay. Our email is two tall stitches at gmail.com. Feel free to email us. We I check it all the time, so I'm I'm pretty good at answering. I have promised some of you retreat uh, suggestions, and I haven't done that yet. I will. I'm going to really try and get to it this week. That's one of my my things to, to plan on. And then also uh, on Instagram, she is at Jen Quilter. I am at Grand Stitches, and she keeps up with all the um, people doing the FFO challenge. So mm -hmm. if you follow her, you'll see a lot of the great FFO finishes. The people have just been wonderful. You guys have done such a good job, yeah. such a good job. So that's really, that's it. I think that's yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, we didn't think we had a lot to talk about, but we killed we an hour. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so but, much for yes. watching. We appreciate it yes. and we look forward to seeing you soon. And if you're new, please come back, hit the like button. That's the other thing. Just quickly, I said something to my son about our floss tube, and his middle son is quite impressed, evidently, that he knows people who are floss tubers. And that, that, no, that yeah. he knows people who have subscribers <laughs> on YouTube. Yes. He could care less what we're talking about. That's true. He's That's impressed true. that we have subscribers. Yes. I told Eric, I said, well, we're over 5,000. I said, tell him that. He said, well, you should call and tell him that. Yeah. I said, well, if I heard from him, I would. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> No. So anyway, thanks. It's been great visiting with you. Have a good two, three, four weeks, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>